What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new epic players that are going to be dropping on eFootball 2023. So uh, this is for V2.2. We already saw Konami talk about these quite a few days ago. There was a couple of days ago where they had all the special edition cards released, um, which we had up on our Twitter. Um, we'll get a look at those in a second, but they have been now added to eFootballDB.com. The player levels, it remains to be seen whether these are going to be accurate or not. They don't look too far off, uh, but you do have to wait usually for the live update um, to drop. So the way that the cards are done is the assets are loaded uh, separately, and then obviously the live update actually handles all the stats and the real-time attributes and stuff like that. So we do have a lot of players to get through here. We are going to give a quick overlook. I'm not going to do any reviews uh, on these. It's just more of an overview on them just to see the couple of players that are there because there are a couple of nice players they've also added a couple of players that we'll get into in a second as well such as the national team players that we saw already on that website goal.com i'll check that out in a sec all right so firstly we have got iniesta batistuta piol piol gerard alonso cafu scolzi torres michael owen parchi song bebeto nakata danielson nakamura uh, sato then we've got, obviously, this is a version of Beckham that is not up yet, so his assets aren't up yet. We've got Stojkovic, who's going to be absolutely insane. Romario, Maradona. And then these cards here, Benzema, Neymar, Messi, uh, Messi, Messi, and Neymar here again. These seem to be cards that are going to be added that we have already seen. So these cards here, this Neymar card is already viewable here, right? So this is the Neymar card that is going to be there, obviously, when the assets are loaded onto the database, and then they will be updated on eFootballDB as well. This icon down in the bottom left of the card, from what I've been told, is an iconic celebration. So it's a unique card that has a unique celebration, a unique player appearance, and unique stats and player skills. So it'll be very interesting to see these cards, how they actually work, because the legend version of Messi and, and uh, Neymar at the moment are absolutely insane, lads. We obviously have both of those at the start of eFootball 2022. So... Yeah, there are some really interesting ones here. I mean, obviously, Stojkovic is going to be somebody that I look at. We've also got Maradona here. I'll show you him in a second. Uh, but we've also got a lot of, like, kind of unique players as well, like Michael Owen and Torres. Obviously, players that have featured before in the game in Pez, uh, in my club, and they're kind of coming back to the fore. We've also got a couple of new guys there that... Uh, haven't had well they've had epic cards before obviously but they haven't been released yet they've been in the database a while um this version of iniesta looks absolutely insane as well so just taking a look at a couple of these guys here right we do have stojkovic as i said the player level still needs to be updated but even giving him 20 levels here lads look at the stats obviously not the paciest player but still his passing and his stats like absolutely incredible there dribbling passing and of course, you'll have a couple of bits of a bit of speed and acceleration as well. But I think they'll have more cards than that, or more points than that. I reckon they might have like 26 or 25. We saw with the epic cards, like Ronaldinho's epic card, had a load of levels. So if you are able to kind of put this guy up with a few more points, I genuinely think he could be a fantastic player because you've got so many abilities there. You've also got a lot of player skills as well. Um to have nice cards and it will be nice if there's a mix up of the cards these cards are actually called big match cards so they're players that have played in a match and they had a brilliant performance in that match so we saw with the Neymar one that is from June 12th 2014 this Stojkovic card doesn't have a date yet but there will be um and then Romario obviously one of my favorite cards in the game I mean if you were to max out Romario at the progression levels here as I said they still need to be updated like you would be looking at Romario as one of the best if not the best players in the game lads genuinely so I do I don't think that the levels will be this high um but even saying that, I mean, this card isn't massively different. You know, if, if these levels are correct, if the 25 level is here, I don't think it would be too OP, more than his Legend card, because he already has that kind of card there. Uh, you know, you've also got the 90, you know, you've got your 90 dribbling, uh, or your, you don't need that high of dribbling, but I would probably pump up a few more into his speed uh, to bring it up to 90 acceleration, 90 finish, and 92 offensive awareness, and 88 ball control. Absolutely incredible. We've also got Diego. We've already seen Diego here. This is the official card that has been released. So interestingly enough, I think that these player version uh, player levels could actually be correct because Maradona here is a 99 overall, right? If we go back into Maradona's card, he's got 32 levels, right? So if we give him the full 32 
And then obviously as an SS, we're going to give him eight here, eight here, eight here, eight there, and then eight there. That brings us up to a 97 overall card. So it does kind of think that, yeah, it does lead to you to think that these player levels are probably uh, going to be extremely similar or if they're not accurate already they will be very very close to that usually they are but it just depends how they update the player live updates it depends sometimes but yeah that maradona card trained up like that will be insane 90 90 ball control 94 dribbling um 83 low pass 90 acceleration 86 pace i mean you don't even need his dribbling up that highlights to be honest you could put that down a little bit you could put his shooting down a little bit to probably 82 for the finesse shots the curling uh shots and all that and if you wanted to have him as more of a, of a kind of a, a speed guy you could pump up a few more into speed so there's a lot of of ways you could train him up and then last but not least we do have this guy here needs no introduction andres iniesta again if his card is correct if this player level here is going to be that you're talking about a guy that has incredible stats you don't even need to boost up his his uh his passing that high you don't need to boost up his dribbling at all really you know you can if you want but you don't really need to so i would be pumping the rest into uh lower body strength you can get that up to like that or even you could get his acceleration up a little bit. But look at those stats, man. Absolutely incredible for a 95 overall CMF. So yeah, that is from the Spain 2010 World Cup team. So yeah, there's a lot of players there um, that I think could be, you know, potentially absolute monsters. And as we said, this is the only judge we have to go on, which is Maradona as a 99 overall. So he's probably getting the two boost as well for being in the play team play style. So his overall is probably 97. And then he obviously gets the the full now i know that you can boost him up a little bit you don't need passing as much if you wanted to boost him up a little bit more you can do that um doesn't need aerial strength or anything like that you can get that card up to a 97 there and then he will have the 100 team play style which will give him two onto that so yeah it will remain to be seen but yeah check it out check out the football db these cards here we've already seen them so this benzema card here um uh, this card is here it's just waiting for the assets to be loaded up we've already had a look at this benzema card that is the card that's going to be available he goes to a 97 overall so using that with the team play style and the 100 percent team um boost that you do get you can actually pop him up quite decently give him four in that we're going to give him a couple in this and we're going to give him the rest in that that brings it up to a 97 so there those are his stats for that again you can train him up however you wish but that is from the 10th of october 2021 that is his version of the card so yeah lads, let me know what you think let me know check out the rest of these players they will be updated tomorrow when the servers go live and also you would expect to have the national team packs as well you can see there that the national team packs for the uh ones there but we already know that we're going to be getting more national team packs so yeah let me know what the crack is and uh let me know if you check out eFootballDB.com. Any feedback as well, I will pass it on to the boys. Other than that, who are you looking forward to? Let me know out of the Epic players who you're going to be spinning for or are you going to be skipping? Have you got a beastly squad as it is? I will talk to you later, lads. Peace.